Hi, I'm Mark Tuart, and I'm the author of the best-selling book, How to Be a Sales Superstar, Break All the Rules and Succeed While Doing It. I want to talk to you about Chapter 11 called the Johnny Carson Principle. For those of you old enough, if you uh, watched the late night talk show, it was Johnny Carson instead of Jay Leno at the time. And the reason I call this the Johnny Carson Principle and how it relates to sales the people that were interviewed by Johnny Carson, the celebrities, the sports stars, people in the know that were on the show, they always said that it felt like a conversation. It was conversational. It wasn't an interview. It wasn't a TV show. That he had a way of making people relax. And that's a gift. But I can tell you that it was a gift that he utilized through practice. He just didn't wake up one day and be a great interviewer. He didn't become the best late night talk show TV host by just getting out of bed. It took a lot of time and a lot of effort. Now, what did he do? He talked about them, he talked about what was important to them, and he talked about things that would tap the heart and the mind. It's no different in sales. Johnny Carson was a salesperson. He was the ultimate salesperson because he would listen to people and he would acknowledge people. He was a Midwestern guy from Nebraska. He wasn't extremely demonstrative and dramatic, but through just his mannerisms, through the way that he would use add-on phrases like, I understand, or I appreciate that, or absolutely, or sure, you bet. All of those things add on to a conversation that if you say that, you're acknowledging to somebody that you're listening to them and at that point, they can add on to that conversation and keep going. It's a little acronym that I use called EARS, E-A-R-S. Encourage somebody to speak by asking them questions. You acknowledge them by using those add-on phrases, by nodding your head slowly. I understand. I appreciate that. Sure. You bet. Absolutely. I can see that. I appreciate that. And then from there, you use the R of ears, which is respond and repeat. Respond back using those phrases, but also repeat back the keyword, key phrases that somebody has said to you, or just repeat back their statement and acknowledge that you understand it and you hear it. That tells somebody that you're actively listening. And the S stands for save. Save all the keywords, save all the key phrases, save all the information that they're giving you in their brain, in your brain, of what's the most important thing to them, and then give them what they want. It's, it's selling is easy. We make it hard by trying to sell something. People love to buy, they hate to be sold. That's an old phrase, but it's true. All you really have to do is allow somebody to buy by listening to them, repeating back what their problem is, agitate it, and then solve. It's an age-old process of selling, but it definitely works. I invite you to be thinking about when customers are dealing with you, they also want to know just a few questions. Who are you? Why are you the better choice? And what does that mean to me? So who are you? How can you describe to them who you truly are? And that's you as a person, not just a salesperson. Tell them and don't be afraid to share with them a little bit about you, who you are personally. Share that with them. People buy from people, once again, not a salesperson. It makes it harder to say no to somebody they relate to. You can find something in their story that matches your story. Tell your story. Tell it well. Tell it often. It's not about you in the sales process. It's about how you relate to them that makes them feel better. So using ears, using the stories, and also using stories through testimonials. Sometimes the best person to tell your story is the people who have done business with you. There's not a business on earth that uses enough testimonials. Mine, yours, anybody's. Have somebody else tell the customer about you through written form, through video form, auditory form. There's an old saying that if somebody, if, excuse me, if you toot your horn, it'll be heard. But if somebody else toots your horn, it'll be heard twice as far and twice as long. Never forget the power of testimonials. And remember your SDP, your specific defining proposition. What makes you different? What makes you unique? Come up with three things, make it specific, and make it geared towards a customer. 
In other words, don't tell somebody you've been in business for 50 years. Nobody cares today. What they want to know is if you've been in business for 50 years, how does that affect me? How does it make my world different? How does it make my deal better? How does it make my service better? That's what people want to know. WIIFM, what's in it for me? That's a radio station they tune into. Make sure you check out my book. Go to either marktuart.com or tuart.com. That's T-E-W-A-R-T.com. Or you could call us at 888-2-TUART. But if you go to tour.com or marktour.com and you click on the link, it'll show you how to get the first chapter for free. This is a best-selling book, and I promise you it will help you in your sales, sales management, and in your life. I'm Mark Tour. Tune in next time for our next tip. I appreciate it, and good selling.